Now, not every problem is going to be solved by making up numbers. If that were the case, that would certainly be nice. But sometimes the test itself wants something more than a relationship between unknowns. It's actually going to want a value at the end of the problem. Let's take a look at another technique we call back solve. The reason we call it back solve is because we're going to solve the problem backwards. Jerry's age is five more than three times Carol's age. If the sum of their ages is 45, how old is Carol? When we take a look at this question and we circle how old is Carol, we know that we want one final value. We can't make up Carol's age. Take a look at the answer choices. It has to be one of them, A, B, C, D, or E. There's no mysterious choice F. It has to be one of these. So what we could do is we could start in the middle and test out the middle choice. If it doesn't work, we know right away whether we need to make that number smaller or larger. This becomes very intelligent and targeted trial and error. Let's see it in action. If we decide that Carol is 14, let's go back to the beginning of the problem and see if this works out. Jerry is five more than three times Carol. Well, if Jerry is five more than three times Carol, three times 14 is three times Carol. Five more than that makes Jerry. So Jerry is 47. But it says the sum of their ages has to be 45. When I take a look at this and I see Carol and Jerry together, I come up with 61. If it, we've got a 61, but the problem wants 45, are we too high or too low? No, oh, we're way too high. That means we, don't, we can't choose C, and we can get rid of D and E. 16 and 18 would be higher than the number we got already. So if we want a smaller number, let's try B. Well, if Carol is 12, how old is Jerry this time? When we take a look at Jerry is five more than three times Carol, three times 12 is 36, plus our five gets 41. So how much is the sum this time around? 53, but that's still too big. So what must my correct answer be? It has to be A. What Paxolve says is since we know it has to be one of these, rather than randomly choose amongst the five, start with the middle value, test it out, and intelligently triangulate into which one must be right. If C was too high of a value, D and E were definitely out. So we tried B, 12 didn't work, but it was getting closer. It's 61 when we started with C, we got to 53 for B, we're on the way to 45. Let's test out A just to make sure. If Carol is 10, and Jerry is five more than three times Carol, well, three times Carol is gonna be 30, five more than that is gonna be 45, and all of a sudden, what have we got? The right answer.